me, I just drank too much Diet Coke, and I was mean to my kids, and my husband didn't like me much, but I, you know, I didn't have anything. <laughs> but I didn't have anything more than just a cranky personality that I, that I couldn't sleep at night. I didn't have, a, I didn't have a story that would blow you away. It was just like everybody at my age and every age needs to thrive. And, and I can tell you that my daughter and son probably write thank you notes to Blair once a month. Thank you so much for making my mother thrive. But Melissa, um, who they're going to come up and share the three simple steps. She, her story was so powerful that it put me back into the mode of I can't not share this with people because what if somebody is my Melissa Roy? <coughs> And here's how that worked. I love how, how you get to find out those thrivers. So I decided, because I had a goal on my vision board that I wanted a new kitchen. Well, I decided I could get brand new countertops if I posted about it on Facebook, and I did. The network for free granted. But I had to hire someone to spray my cabinet. So we walked in with a Monster Energy drink. I look at him, and I was on live with my team, and I said, I'm going to go get the kitchen guy to thrive. And I said, so I was live doing it. And he said, oh, my wife would love this crap. And my, that, wife, <laughs> that wife is now a 40K who ended up sharing with Melissa and Cliff. So you never know the power of just walking into your kitchen and with somebody with a monster energy. So it's about having that conversation. So I want to introduce our third. They're going to share the three simple steps and start the stories. Melissa and Cliff Roy. And Cliff just comes along for the ride. He drinks a lot yeah. of diet coke. <laughs> Everybody. We're glad everybody's here safe, especially with uh, everything going on on the, on the coast of North uh, Carolina. So if you're from that area, we're so happy you're here safe. Uh, keep everybody, everybody in your prayers, please. All right, so we've already heard this word thrive being thrown around. How many thrivers do we have in the room? Yeah, come on, let's hear it. Come on, where are you, Thank you, thank you. All right, so Melissa, what is thrive? Well... Let's just go through the steps first, and then we can explain it as we go. So first thing, I always put, well, that's first. We always put our capsule packs and see how convenient they are. They're not in a bottle. You don't have to, like, travel. It's so convenient. Put it next to your bed with your water, and you take it before your feet hit the floor. Put it next to your bed so you don't have to put your feet on the floor. And what is that? So these are your multivitamins, it's going to get you moving in the morning, get your body awake, and get you ready to attack your day. And then you've got step two. So step two is your lifestyle mix. It comes with four different flavors. Chocolate's the best. Where's Team Chocolate? No! Yeah. No! Another three flavors. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Vanilla and apple pie, but chocolate's the best. That's the one you need to know about. So, the, the lifestyle mix gives you your prebiotics and your probiotics. Really gives you that gut health to, to really where your health starts is in your gut. Get your body going. You take this about 20 to 40 minutes after you've taken your life your uh, capsules. And then I think is probably almost everybody's favorite step. Step three. Show us your step three, drivers. That's right. The world's only wearable nutrition, your DFT. So this is, this is the beauty of Thrive. So with the world's only wearable nutrition, this DFT slowly releases those multivitamins into your bloodstream all day long to give you that healthy, sustainable, 24-hour energy that keeps you going all through your day. It has been phenomenal for us. Beth kind of was touching on part of our story. I don't even think we can give you a full breath of how it's impacted our lives. And, and I know a lot of people, okay, that's what they're getting paid to say, right? We're not getting paid to be up here. We wanna share from our heart what our stories really are. So, Melissa, take it away. All right, so we have three little children and I was blessed with multiple health challenges. And I was, mommy doesn't even describe what I was. Um, I was completely and utterly exhausted to the point of not being able to function. I wasn't a mom. I was a blob in the bed. I wasn't a wife at this time. I mean, I was married to him. We've been married for 16 years. Um, 
we actually had to have someone come live with us because I could not function. He traveled for work and was gone five days a week. And so we saw each other on the weekends. So someone literally had to come in and do everything for me. Um, the person that um, Beth was just talking about asked us for four months, four months straight asking if we wanted to try something that could change my life. Now she didn't know all of my health concerns, um, but I just kept telling her no. I'm like, no, I just can't. And it's because I've tried everything. And when I say everything, I really mean everything. Um, and it just made things worse. So we decided to take a leap and ask nine of my doctors. Yes, none. And they all said, yes, go for it. What do you have to lose? That's what they said to me. So we're like, okay. So March of last year, my first capsule, five minutes later, I'm like screaming. And he's like, what is going on? He's like, chill. And you know, half a shake as we slow started. That day while he was gone, I reorganized and cleaned out three children's closets. Clothes, toys, everything. Day two for me, I cleaned the entire house. Windows, blinds, baseboards, floors, everything. He's sitting over here freaking out because he knows all of my health challenges. Day three, everything just keeps getting better. And for me, I've lost 80 pounds, and it's not even about the weight loss for me. It's given me my life back. I am now a mom, and I homeschool all three of my children, and I couldn't wait until they got out of the door before, a year and a half ago. And, I mean, I'm a better wife, and now you can take over yours. Oh. <laughs> Man, I, I tell you, the impact you had going from Melissa being in the bed 20 hours a day um, to up now, she boxes, uh, she's running around with our girls. We didn't homeschool before. She homeschools now. It's been life-changing. Uh, for me, uh, having someone who was in the bed all the time, having someone live with us uh, that was doing a lot of the, the household and things, uh, I was working probably 55, 60 hours a week, like you said, traveling a lot. I was also doing my master's uh, down at the University of Miami. Do we have any Miami fans in here? Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, um, not after last weekend's game. But... Uh, <laughs> But so I was extremely busy, gone probably 14, 15 hours a day, even when I was in town. Um, and so with everything going on, I was exhausted. So I did probably what a lot of people have done, and I turned to the bottle. And I don't mean the alcohol bottle. I meant, I meant diet soda bottle. So I was drinking five to six diet sodas a day because I just assumed that's how you lived, right? You had people that drank coffee, you had people that drank soda, and you had people that drank energy drinks. I hate energy drinks. I hated coffee because I have a terrible sweet tooth, so soda was my thing. And I felt terrible every day, sluggish, but I thought that's how you lived. And then when we were introduced to Thrive, of course, I was freaking out because she was all over the place and she hadn't been moving for a couple years, and now all of a sudden she's cleaning our house. And I'll tell you that during my sample period, I felt nothing. So I'm thinking, <laughs> It's all in her head, right? <laughs> Placebo effect 100%, right? But I'm like, hey, look, if this is what's working for you, great, I'll see you in the hospital in a couple days because that's where we're gonna end up, right? But luckily, and, and, and husbands, jot this down, luckily I listened to my wife and she, she ordered for both of us. And so for me, day 10 is when I felt my aha moment with Thrive. I don't drink soda anymore. I've lost 20 pounds, so together we've lost 100 pounds. And I feel better than ever. Oh, it's been amazing. Yeah. So, and I'll tell you, this isn't something that's been going on for a month or two. We're now 18 months thriving, and it gets better every day. This isn't some crazy fad, guys. This is the real deal. Absolutely. So thank you both. Everybody, thank you. <laughs> sharing their real Thrive experiences with real results. And that's what we want you guys to hear. So will the six people who are sharing with me tonight go ahead and come up? 
And the great part about these stories is you're going to see, you know, we have all different kinds of people. And when Beth was talking about that moment that I messaged her, yes, John, you're one of them. Um, when I messaged her and said, you know, oh my gosh, we have to see what this is that Elisa's doing. She's up on stage. The other part of that was the diversity of people that I saw on that stage with Elise. And that was what intrigued me. You know, I knew it was working for her, or so she said it was. I was like, of course people are buying her. She's adorable. She's so sweet. They're buying it from her. But I really didn't believe in the product. But when I saw this stage, much like what you're seeing up here, I saw different ages. I saw different backgrounds. I saw different ethnicities. I saw, you know, different sizes. And that made me think, if it's working for all of those people, maybe it would work for me. You know, Elise is like super granola and into eating healthy and like exercising. <laughs> and I'm not so much. And I thought, wow, maybe this product really would work for me. And very similar, you know, I had a million products. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. You have a lot of things in your cabinet that you've bought and either never taken or took and they didn't work right? And so the simplicity of this system is what is so unique, and that's what I love. But you're also going to hear these real stories tonight. So I'm excited for you guys to hear Chris is going to share with you guys her Thrive experience. Blair, have, have them come forward. Yeah, sorry. Like right here. Like this blue circle. That's the circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, because it's not oh, okay. Okay. It's oh, okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm Chris Ann Julie. Uh, I've been thriving since January, February time frame last year. Um, when I started the year last year, I was 25 pounds overweight. I wasn't feeling good. I just was, you know, not in a good place. Um, looking for a change for the new year. My cousin reached out to me and uh, told me about Thrive. Um, mentioned to me that she would lost some weight, she was feeling great, she loved the energy. So I got on board and, um, you know, I was a little nervous about it because, uh, you know, I don't, I haven't done caffeine in like 10 years. So I went and uh, switched to decaf and hadn't had any caffeine, but she assured me, listen, this is awesome <laughs> stuff, so just, just trust me. So I did. Um, when my, my box came, I took the entire system full blast. I mean, I didn't ease into it like you tell people to. So within a few minutes, I, I got this huge burst of energy and uh, it hit me like I just was so like freaked out. I was like, wow, holy moly, what is this? If this is gonna be my all day experience, I'm gonna take this for the rest of my life. So, um, you know, I had tried, like, like you said, Blair, I tried so many different things. I had a pantry full of vitamins and, you know, just I was a, you know, vitamin junkie. So none of that worked. I couldn't remember when to take it. It was difficult. And when my cousin said, listen, it's three steps and you're done the first 20, 40 minutes of your day, I was like, okay, I can, I can do that for sure. So um, my experience has been, you know, the first you know, day I mentioned, you know, my experience within seven to eight days. I think it was my husband that mentioned to me, you know, you slept through the night for the first time in a long time. And I'm in my 50s. Um, I've experienced, you know, what happens to women when we age. Uh, <laughs> you ladies know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I, I wasn't sleeping. Many, many years I hadn't slept. And um, when he told me, you know, you slept through the night, there was no tossing, no turning. Um, I was I was sold. I was like, this this is going to change my life and be able to sleep and be able to have the energy that I need. It was amazing and so so simple. Three steps and you're done. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So how many of you can relate that are on Thrive now with sleeping better at night? Yeah. Right. Look at that. That's amazing. How it can. Just taking three simple steps every day to change that. So next we have Heidi and Troy, and I'm so excited because I always love hearing from couples because one of the things that I remember hearing about Thrive before I started on it was, it can change your marriage. It can change your life. And I was like, that is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Like, I want to rein it in, they're just vitamins. But actually, it's actually true because when you start to feel better, you might actually start being a little bit nicer. You might have more energy to communicate better and be able to actually start doing some things together and sleeping, right? We've heard that tonight. So there's a lot of things that happen um, to couples together when they're thriving together. So I'm going to have Heidi and Troy share their story. Okay. 
All right, um, I'm actually pretty new. Um, I started about 14 weeks ago, and um, my name's Heidi Williams. And what I was doing is I was struggling through my day. Um, I had really had some stress things at work, at home, dealing with family health issues, and I was just really having a hard time. <laughs> Um, it was really affecting my um, digestion. My digestion was sideways, which in turn led to a headache all day, which zapped my energy, and just overall I felt like this really defeated by the end of the day. So I was on a Facebook page uh, chatting with some women with these issues about you know how you feel and what, what are you doing, and a woman had messaged me named Shelly and said, you know, if you're interested, I do have something that I think might help. So I was like, sure, you know. I gave her my number, she called me, um, we talked for a little while. She had the same issues digestion-wise, and she was like, you know, this is, you know, it's three steps, it's easy. Um, so she sent me a three-day sample. I was like, you know, I'll definitely take it. I didn't think it was going to work, um, but I was kind of desperate. I wanted to feel better, so I said, sure, send me the three days. Um, day one, I didn't feel much. Um, I got through the day without coffee. I didn't do, she said, no coffee, lots of water, and I didn't have a headache, which I was like, okay, if I can do coffee and not have a headache, I feel great. Day two, about the same. Um, I didn't really notice till day four when I didn't have any more Thrive left and I was waiting for my package. And around two o'clock, I was just dragging again. I was like, okay, so maybe I did feel something and I didn't realize it. Um, so I ordered, I had actually ordered with her day two because I said, I'm gonna try eight weeks no matter what, see if it works for me. Um, I got my package on a Saturday. I um, took it and it was probably about day 13, 14 where I really noticed my digestion was was on point, my headache was gone. Um, I'm in the restaurant business, I was on a night shift, and at 11 o'clock at night, my staff was like, you're not two espressos in, and you're still awake. I was like, I know, right? <laughs> so it's really been incredible. I've had such, you know, great, my stomach's been great, I've been feeling great. Um, and about five weeks into my experience, my husband, finally, this is Troy, finally decided to give in to <laughs> Here you go. Okay. How are you doing, everybody? Hi. I'm Troy. I'm her better half. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't find it, I'm from New York, so bear with me. Um, yeah, she started doing it, and I had, like a lot of everybody here, had their health issues. Um, it was to the point where she never knew who she was going to come home to. Um, I was either in the corner crying or ready to rip somebody's head off. Um, she kept saying, oh, you should try, you should try, you should try. And like most guys, all I heard was blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I took a nosedive one time, and when um, I came out of it, I was like, look, I can't keep going on like this. Do you really think this is going to help? She's like, what are you going to do? Try it. You know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If you like it, you like it. Um, I took, she ordered a pack for me, um, the men's, and we were sharing the shakes. And I was always bloated, and again, just like Heidi, in the restaurant business. Woke up in the morning, had coffee. By the time I got to work, first thing I did was pour a cup of coffee. Every now and again, um, we would have um, uh, Red Bull girls come around, and they would give out samples. And before I would let them have, give them to my staff, I grabbed two or three, put them in my pocket, and everybody knew that was the way it was. So um, I started doing Thrive, uh, stopped the coffee. I mean, every now and again, I'll have a cup of coffee, but only because I want a cup of coffee. Um, and I just started feeling, great. I was like, oh my God, I, I couldn't tie my shoes. I was so bloated. I would keep my shoes tied and just kind of slip them on. And, you know, I mean, I still got a little weight on, but I feel good. You know, every day I wake up, we look forward to doing the shakes and the vitamins in the morning. And that's my, you know, that's my day. Um, I'm going to have the health issues that I have. But my thing was, if this helps me get a little bit further or helps give me like maybe 70 or 80% of who I was, I'm, I'm rocking and rolling. You know, and sure enough, here we are. I'm like, I want to promote this. I want to tell people about this because I'm not the kind of person that would tell people. I, you know, it's kind of keep it to myself and, you know, you know, don't tell anybody. But now I'm like, oh my God, I go to my barber and I'm like, yo, dude, you got to try this. <laughs> my boy, um, a couple of weeks ago, we went to go visit my son up at UCF. And my boy, I was like, yo, you need to try this, man. This is... This is killer. He's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, every day, you, it's great. You do your, your, your vitamins in the morning, you do your shake, and you slap on a patch, and then 
you're set for the rest of the day. I mean, like, there are other things you can do, but this is it. This is, like, what you really want. Um, and I'm going to cut it short, but before, like, um, he was driving. He would post driving day one, drive two. Somebody posted on his Facebook page, uh, what are you doing? So I figured, yo, I'm promoting now. I can get in on this. The guy was like, he's like, I just wanted to know what you were doing because I've been doing this for like six years now. I was like, are you serious? And I just found out about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, six years in. So, yeah, you know, and he was, just, he was just like, even when he stops doing it, he, he feels the effects of not having it. And I'm just like, look, I love this and I'm going to do it, you know, till I can't do it anymore. So. That's my strong experience. It was such a good point. Quality of life. Everyone deserves to have a great quality of life, right? So why would you keep this a secret? So those of you in this room who are already thriving, make it your mission to share this with other people. You have no idea what they're going through. Hearing their story, I mean, you know, you might have gone to work every day and your friends might not have even had any idea that you were going through what you were going through. And that is so important that we share this product with others and allow them to feel just as good as we are. So Brianna's going to share with you guys a little bit about her story. So oh, hey guys, I am a horse trainer in Georgia actually, so I work in the hot, humid heat, and I got to a point where I was not being productive with my job. I was just legit exhausted. I mean, even in December, it's still in the 90s, so it's hot, and I'm outside working in the sun, and I had stopped being productive, I'm like, there's got to be something more than what I'm doing. I'm working 20 minutes max and have to go sit down and take a nap, you know? Um, and then my sleep also I wasn't getting sleep. I'd watch TV for two and a half, three hours just because I couldn't go to sleep. Um, when I did go to sleep, I'd toss and I'd turn. So I was dealing with that also. And um, with working with the horses, I actually worked with you know wild mustangs from out west. So I was getting thrown, I was getting tossed around. The aches and discomforts, they were there. Um, so, um, so I was watching a friend thrive on Facebook. I said, that's not gonna work for me. You don't do what I do, you work you know, a different job, that's not gonna work for me because of what I do. It's normal to feel the way I feel, you know, doing the work that I do. So, but you know, like I said, I was at that point, I needed something to change. I'm like, what have I got to lose? I jumped in, I bought them on supply. Um, day one, I felt great, like super. I didn't take a nap during the day, I was working all day, and I'm like, it's just in my head. Like, I can deal just with one day, it's just in my head. And then day three rolls around and I'm like, wow, I still haven't taken a nap and I slept so good last night. And then day 10 comes and I'm like, I can bend my knees and I can get in the saddle easy and I don't have to pull up my pants to get my leg in the stirrup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's where I was. And it's just, it's absolutely amazing what those three simple steps was um, and what they did for me because being on the road for the horse shows or whatever it may be, all I was eating was junk. You know, I was drinking sweet tea in Georgia. You gotta drink sweet tea in Georgia. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. drinking sweet tea, when you're at a horse show, you go grab a hot dog because it's easy. That's what's easy. You go grab a bag of chips because it's easy. And that's where the Thrive Experience really helped me is because of how easy it is. It's not something I have to, you know, put in my whole day and remember what time to take everything in. You know, it's just really easy. So. That's kind of my story. I have it. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Um, so John from Des Moines, Iowa. I'm an attorney. I'm an attorney by training. I work for a large health insurance company at the director level, and I do healthcare policy. I've been doing that for 12 years. I, I wouldn't be a part of any kind of flaky healthcare product or any fly by night. But I, I, I am the hardest person to convince in this room that a healthcare product you put into your body is going to work. I mean, January of this year, I was uh, using the multiple energy drinks um, all day, every day. I, I was overweight, I was a stroke risk, I needed to have a surgery for a herniation, the doctor wouldn't do the surgery until I lost 25 pounds. I couldn't work out because of what the condition was. 
And so I needed to find a way. I was interested in fad diets or pills. I re really wanted to make a commitment to change my lifestyle, see if I could get some of that energy back. And a friend of our family, uh, Beth, who is here, uh, set up a sample, which I let sit for 53 days <laughs> on the floor of my kitchen. Because I'm a guy. I don't I listen to his wife, right? I'm not doing the listening piece. And when I finally picked it up and decided this is what I would um, give a try to, um, it, it was all of the stuff that you've heard, and I won't repeat it all, but energy increased, metabolism changed, the pounds started to peel off. I lost 39 pounds between January and April, maintained it for another four months, and I, we moved about three weeks ago, and I took four big bags to Goodwill of clothes that were too big. I have replaced every t shirt and So, in addition to the weight loss, though, you know, I thought that Thrive would help a little. It helped a lot. It changed my sleep, my skin, my metabolism, my energy level, and my mental focus. It put me back on top at work. It gave me the feeling that I had of being 25 or 28 years old and being at the top of my game. And, you know, this room is about... 75% uh, women, uh, this company is about 75% women. Uh, I'm making it part of my mission to change that. Guys, this works. <laughs> Many of you who are here, you've got a guy at home, I am telling you that it works. And there are lots of products that are advertised on TV that are gonna give us back that feeling of being very masculine, some of them very uncomfortable to watch. Forget all that. Thrive does the deal. Thrive covers the waterfront. Get your energy back. So, um, just a quick word about uh, promoter. I started promoting eight months ago. I, I moved very quickly through a few ranks. I'm kind of in the middle, but um, you know, it's it's a sustainable uh, business that I've been able to build on top of a pretty exhausting uh, professional career, and it is workable from whatever position you find yourself in in life. So whatever you're thinking about how many time commitments you have, I have more, and we're, we're getting it done on my team, and we're building it out. I. Uh, I, you know, I am so grateful for what I found with Thrive that it's almost hard to express. And I appreciate several of the people in this room for, for giving me the opportunity to change my life in the middle of my life. You, you know that what I'm saying is true, that you lose your energy in your 30s and again in your 40s, your metabolism slows down, and that's when people give up. And among men, it is a public health crisis in this country that they are giving up in middle age. Don't do it. This isn't the only product in the world that will do it, but it's what did it for me, and I want you to feel better. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, how many of you can relate to that, though? I was like thinking, yes, it did drop in my 30s, and yes, it has dropped in my 40s, and it's so true. I love that you said don't give up, right? It's like you still have a huge amount of your life left. Um, well, this is Carrie, you guys, and I'm so excited for you guys to hear Carrie's story. It's one that I think a lot of you guys will be able to relate to. And at the same time, we're going to also share with you guys um, something really important, which is how you can get Thrive for free. Right? Can't think of anything better than free. It's like one of my favorite words. So <laughs> Carrie's going to share with you guys. Thank you, Claire. Um, I'm Carrie Simpson. I'm from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Yes, we are here about to wait. Well, um, tell them how far you drove to do this. We drove 14 hours to be here today because our flights were canceled. So, um, anyway, so before Thrive, I had a, an old dear friend that I had known since high school, grade school probably, um, that I watched for months and months on social media. He's crazy. Whatever he's trying to sell is not going to work. Like a lot of you, I tried every single thing. If it's on the market, I can tell you how it didn't work for me. So it just kept tugging at me and tugging at me, and finally it was like, all right, what is it? Tell me what it is. Let me just try it. Let me just bite the bullet, try it, and mark it off the list. At least I can say it didn't work, and it's not going to bother me anymore to see all these posts. So day one, I was a day one driver. Um, I went to work that day, started the three simple steps, got to work, and all of a sudden, mid-morning, I had this, like, amazing mood creep up on me. And I was like, where'd that come from? <laughs> you know, like, this is amazing. Um, I started interacting with my team. I work in corporate ma uh, America. I manage a sales team of 25 employees. And they wanted to know if I had if I had gotten a new boyfriend over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good mood. And I was like, no, it's this, I, you know? So day three, um, totally unheard of. I literally used to hit my snooze button by the minute 
and timed how long it would take me if I sped a little bit to get my kids to school on time. I'd hit the snooze seven, eight, sometimes 10 times. And day three, I woke up before my alarm clock and I thought, all right, this is not legal. There's something in here that is just like, what is this? So I reached out to um, my upline at that time, Josh, and I was like, okay, you know, this is amazing. And he was like, share your story. And I was like, you know, God, I know so many other single moms. I have three teenagers. I struggled on a daily basis to go through the motions. Um, I was counting the minutes to get home to put my pajamas on and just crawl in bed and eat dinner in bed. And if my kids had homework, like you better get either the paper I have to sign or the book I have to help you read to me by eight o'clock because after that, I'm no good. I am no good. And so I made a post and I had several people contact me, but I didn't have time for this business. I travel four or five days a week. I work 50, 60 hours a week. I have three kids that are active in sports. I don't have time, call Josh. He'll sign you up. So sixth or seventh person, he called me and said, what are you doing? <laughs> like you can have a business with this. No, I can't, I can't do it. The, the stuff like that doesn't happen to me. Uh -huh. I'm not a successful person. I work in corporate America and that's where I'm gonna be the rest of my life. Yeah. Day 10, um, well no, I said, all right, let's do it. How do, I, how do I do it, how do I do it? And he was like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, calm down. Um, so I started promoting the mid of April um, and I earned my car bonus within 32 days. 32 days, I think it was, yeah. Um, <laughs> Wanted. I knew that everybody wanted what, what I had, so that made it simple. Um, day 10, after 15 years of not sleeping through the night, I slept through the night and woke up and felt amazing, and I knew like this was part of my lifestyle for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So, as a single mom who struggles, was struggling, actually, um, to share something very personal, in uh, the beginning of the year before I was introduced to Five, I had planned on using my tax return to file bankruptcy mm. because I could I wasn't even living paycheck to paycheck. I wouldn't I couldn't even make it to the next paycheck. Mm. So it was really important for me to get my five for free. And Josh really helped me along with Amber and you know it was like you just gotta find two people. You know two people. And so I found two people and I found a lot more than two people. But that's really what my goal is every month. Every new customer that signs up on my team, find us two people. Like, the, the company will give it to you for free. Why not take advantage of that program? Um, it's helped me build a team, and it's helped me to continue to thrive. So literally, I invested one month in myself that, you know, it was scraping the piggy bank to say, but I knew I had to try it. Um, so thriving for free is really, really simple. Two people, we all know somebody that's tired, somebody that has some pounds to lose, somebody that um, you know isn't sleeping well at night. You know, I say all the time, call your mom, call your sister, call your neighbor, reach out to your coworker. Like we, all we're doing is sharing information and it's up to them what they wanna do with it. tonight and um, some people that are just customers and not uh, promoters as of now so if you are currently not a promoter raise your hand or stand up please stand up for me <laughs> two people to thrive with you so that you will be thriving for free just like me.
It's why we love sharing our stories with others because you don't know there can be one little thing that you say that can totally change somebody else's life. So that actually is the perfect introduction for Elise because Elise and I have been friends, oh gosh, since 2010. And when she first started thriving, you can come up. When she first started thriving, you know, the very first thing she did was reach out, right? Because she wanted to help me to feel better. I had headaches, I had um, discomfort in my neck, I was a crabby mom. Um, I was complaining about being overweight, and of course she's like, oh, this will help you with all of that. Well, it took me six months to finally believe her. You've heard a little bit of it tonight. But the best part was she never gave up on me. She was like, I know this is going to be amazing for you when you're ready. And she would constantly share with me. And it wasn't like hitting me over the head. It was because we're friends, and we'd talk. And I'd be like, how are things going? Amazing. I'm changing lives every single day. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows, Elise, that is totally the <laughs> And then we talk again. I'm like, oh, how are things going? Oh, my goodness. I have like six people who just got their car paid for this month from this company. It's amazing. That's the second, you know, highest payment in somebody's home. I was like, okay. So she like drizzled on me, right? And I am so thankful because when I did decide to make that jump and take a chance on myself and see if this product worked, the next thing that happened was I was blown away by it. And I said to her, I can't believe it. It like actually works. I mean, how much are you making? That's crazy. And all those people driving those cars, I can't believe it. And that was when she said to me, why aren't you doing this with me? This is what you are supposed to be doing. And I'm so thankful that you said that to me and so thankful for your leadership. But I'm really excited for you guys to hear a little bit about her story tonight and about our rewards plan because honestly, this business has been life changing for me and my family and so many of you that I know personally in this room. It has completely changed the path and the direction of your life. She's a slap on a DFT. I, I, what does DFT stand for? Somebody, shout out. You're gonna be no, sure. you're sure. you're sure. I couldn't tell who said it first. No, which one of these you choose today? Yeah, this one. Okay. okay. I chose, I am confident. Some of our DFTs have little sayings on them. I am statements, we call that affirmations of what is actually true. And I choose, I am confident, because I will share with you that when I was in college, I failed public speaking. <laughs> and so this is why I wanted to incorporate that into my story tonight. Um, because a lot of times people think that things just come easy for people. They don't know the whole backstory. They don't know the dawn, or long, dark night of the soul that's happened behind closed doors. And that's where I was at when Thrive came into my life. And I'm so grateful that we have such an incredible business model and the fact that it's free because I wouldn't have joined otherwise. And I started out as a customer and I'm thankful that uh, I was put right on the phone with Sheila, who we'll be sharing here in a minute. And like many of you, we, we had questions when we first started. We didn't think it would work, right? Who thought it would work when you first heard about it? Oh, <laughs> two people <laughs> in a room of over 100 um, thought that it would work when you heard about it. Um, I didn't think it would work. But Sheila's story was so relatable to me because she was from Minnesota. I was born in Minnesota. I understood the long, dark winters and how cold it was, and I could relate to her. And so I decided to start my experience as a customer. And the first few days were a rocky start. And uh, by about <laughs> day 12, I noticed that I had slept through the night, which hadn't happened in a very long time because we were in a ton of financial stress. In fact, six figures in debt. And I had to kind of sneak some money to buy the product without telling Rob my husband, because I was embarrassed, because I had already tried other things. I didn't want to feel gullible. I didn't want to feel like I was wasting our money. And so I didn't tell him. I decided instead that if the product really worked, I would show him, right? Maybe he would notice through my behavior. And so on that day, he had come home from a medical conference because he, um, at the time, was in orthopedics. Now he's retired and doing this. but. He came home from that conference and he was like, what is different about you? You're so happy and like things are happening and it's like the house looks amazing. And, and I said, well, I started taking these products and I showed him the box. And I, I'm like, 
What do you think? Is there something really special in these ingredients? <laughs> he looks at him and he goes, no. <laughs> I was like, wow, good. I didn't want it to be really weird or something, right? And so he was like, no, they look like really good ingredients. These ingredients are proven to help with inflammation and proven, they're proven to help uh, with your immune system and your digestive system. And he goes, in the probiotics, that's incredible because they even included prebiotics, which feeds the probiotics so you can grow that colony of good bacteria in your gut. And I was like, awesome, yes, I think I got And so he, he was like, you better order this for me too. And so I was like, aha, if he wants me to order this, just from looking at the box and seeing, seeing the change in me, then I think we could be onto something. So guess what? I got back on the phone with Sheila, and I was like, Sheila, I think I'm gonna do this, but I'm only gonna earn the first two bonuses, then I'm done. <laughs> But I didn't really believe I could do more, right? All I believed was I could find, um, what is it, eight people total to order this product and earn $1,300 in bonuses. I thought I could do that and that will help us pay the mortgage. And then that'll buy me some time so I can figure out what I'm gonna do to bring an income for the family. <laughs> Literally, that was my thought process. And so we went ahead and I was sharing it with friends and family and putting them on the phone with Sheila, with Mario, with our CEO, and Blair was one of those people. <coughs> and she ignored me for months. She didn't start right when I started. Um, so I continued to share it. I earned those two bonuses in my first week. I earned the iPad. I earned my car bonus by my third week. And we also started hosting events like this in my little town of, in Montana, that's where I live. And the crazy thing is, at one of my second um, events like this, my best friend's brother earned his car bonus and he had zero experience in sales. He, all he did was, when he was driving to and from work, because he was a cowboy, he would work at a, at, um, a stockyard and he would do construction. So he's literally working all the time with a family of uh, you know three kids. And, and I'm like, I just wanna test this out and see if you can earn your car bonus because I don't really believe this is true. So will you be my guinea pig? And he was like, yes, I'll do it. I love the product because I gave him the sample. And then he couldn't even order it yet. He needed to start earning the bonuses so that he could order his product. So I said, you drive to work, you put your friends on the phone, merge me in. I'll share my story, I'll share how they can order, and we'll see what we can do. So we did that every single day, minimum of three people per day that I talked to of his friends, and by week three, he earned his car bonus. Yes, and still today, he earns that car bonus every single month. It's incredible, think about that. <coughs> it just blows my mind. Anyway, so, what else was I gonna share? No <laughs> the reward plan and what? Shit. Just the reward plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got so into my story and going back down memory lane, I was like, I could just share so much since then. But anyway, the, this company is the, the neatest business model because it's free for you to join as a customer or a promoter. It's free. You don't have to enter your credit card. You won't get charged a yearly fee. You won't get charged a marketing fee. You join for free. Now our, our customers and our promoters can earn their private experience for free when they refer two friends to order as customers on AutoShip. And we have the most user-friendly AutoShip program out there. In fact, the other day we were all talking about these other programs that we've been on in the past where you're like fighting tooth and nail when you want to dump. <laughs> and you don't have to be scared of that with Lavelle. So, the opportunity to earn your product for free was huge. That was one of my main goals when I started. And I'm curious how many of you have earned your product for free? Wow, it's like everybody in the room, almost. Soon it will be everybody in the room, right? So I earned my product for free. I, I ordered that first order. It was February 28th of 2014. And I haven't paid for my order since. Every single month I have received my free credits because I have customers that still today order their product every single month that started with me over four years ago. 
I was doing jewelry parties at night. I was, my kids were 10 and 13 at the time, so crazy busy sports schedules. And so the thought of adding one more thing to my plate was like, no, I can't do that. However, I've always been, had an entrepreneurial spirit, so she knew if I liked the product that she was, uh, I would definitely be looking at the opportunity. So, got my product. For me, I was a day one thriver. I was getting the house clean. I was doing laundry. Nobody said they did laundry. Like, usually, like, everyone's like, I did laundry. I folded it. And, um, so, I folded my laundry, put it away. I, uh, I got all this stuff done before I went to my job. I got home that night, I made dinner, and you think, oh, that's not a big deal. No, I was not making dinner. This was in November, and I had started working again in September, and by the time I was getting home, I was so tired. It was convenience food, fast food, there was no healthy eating going on in our household. So I made dinner, and I continued to get stuff done, and honestly, at the end of the day, I was like, oh, it was just a fluke. Because my husband noticed nothing. Um, <laughs> By day three, I was like, by day three, um, still feeling great. In the evening, I did start to feel a faint headache coming on, and I called up Mari, and I told her her product doesn't work. <laughs> and uh, she's like, go over your day with me. And so I was talking to her, and she's like, how much water did you consume? Well, Diet Coke does not count as water. <laughs> and so she's like, Sheila, drink a couple glasses of water and call me back. And I never did get that headache. So that, for me, was huge. And uh, my husband's still nothing. Uh, but by day 10, I had not had a headache in 10 days. I was getting stuff done. I was loving that all-day energy. Um, my mental clarity, that was crazy for me. I was normally, I'm, you know, something shiny. It's got my attention. But I was able to stay focused for 10 days. That's crazy. And uh, the sleep, I really didn't notice till later because I never thought I slept poorly until I got on Thrive. Um, and then a couple months later, I woke up in the middle of the night and I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't done this for two months. But anyway, day 10, my husband came home from work and he said, you know what? I haven't had, uh, I haven't been dozing off on my way home from work, which was unusual, which is terrible, that's scary. But anyway, and um, he wasn't sleeping on the couch. He was present with our family when he got home, too. And uh, also, he said he hadn't noticed his elbow discomfort in three days. And I'm like, that is huge. He was an electrician. Uh, constant movement. I uh, had a lot of issues. So I was like, <sighs> so Mari calls me up. It was a Sunday night. And she says, Sheila, are you ready to join me yet? And uh, I said, maybe on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know why I was putting her off on Tuesday, but honestly, I was nervous. Like, I've been in party plans. So I've been in direct sales, but I was in party plans. That means people come to someone's house to purchase. So I'm like, I have to reach out to my friends and family and more market. Like, that's, I don't know if I want to do that. But she said, Sheila, I need you for a bonus. And I'll throw you some credit. I'm like, okay, oh, fine. So that night, I actually purchased a 400 pack, uh, again, on my credit card, because we didn't have any money. But, um, <laughs> but here's the deal. It was November of 2013. Christmas was coming up with all the other things we had cut out, cut back on my daughter's dance. We had traded in two more expensive vehicles for cheaper vehicles so that we could get this debt paid off. So um, I thought, I'm going to use this bonus money to pay for Christmas for my kids, because that was also getting cut. So um, that's what I, I knew I had to do. So every day, Mario would call me. Sheila, or, she, or I'd, I'd avoid her, and then she'd text me. Um, <laughs> Who do you have to get on the phone with me today? And uh, you know, I don't like to not respond. I'm like, oh, I have two people for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, crap, now i got to get two people because I didn't have anybody. I had to talk to the soul, so I'm like, okay, i gotta, I got to reach out to people. Now, during those first two weeks, I'll admit, well, first of all, people say reach out to three to five people a day. I mean, I was 35, 40 a day was my, it was complete um, numbers for me. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time to be on the phone. Uh, during the day because I worked out of school, so I would do messenger late at night after my kids went to bed. I'd get up early, 
I literally would sit in my car after school and respond to messages. And then I would get someone on the phone on my way home from work. And then half the time I was in the garage and a little papillon would come to the door carried by my daughter because he was making so much noise because I wasn't coming in the house. But that was how I was gonna build, that's how I had to build my business. I didn't have time. Uh, I had to make time. And we all have time. It's just how are you gonna steal your own time? And that is what I had to do. So literally I would go to baseball games. I was the mother pacing the field watching my kid on three-way calls. I was in my car for that extra hour. We had to be there early on the phone with other people. I was in between, I was messaging people. It's possible. I was, like I said, Monday through Friday working, doing jewelry parties at night at my kids' sporting events. Like if I wasn't at the party, I was at my kids' sporting events. And so um, we did hit our VIP 800. We missed VIP 1600 by one promoter. I could have upgraded my husband and I didn't because I had been in an industry where you had to spend money to make money. And I always had to have inventory. And I just wasn't willing, we were already in debt. I didn't need to do that again. Now, hindsight, I would have made, you know, four hundred some dollars <laughs> on that purchase, but you know, that's where my head was at, so that's fine. Um, you know, we moved through November 10th is when I actually signed up. By the end of November, our team had done $3,600 in sales. Uh, in December, though, and, and you'll see, I'll, I'll explain my point to you in a second here, but in December, we hit our 4K by like the first couple days. We, by mid-month, we had hit our 12K and we did 36,000 in December. And the reason why I tell you that is because normally December, people aren't spending a lot of money. That was a lot of miles, yeah, and about the Thrive Experience. So, um, and this wasn't something I did alone. This was telling people who were referring to and getting their product for free and then helping people get to their bonuses, making them say, probably lie to me too and say, you know, who are you gonna get me on the phone with today? They're probably like, nobody. Um, and I do remember during those first even couple months being on the phone with Maria and saying to her, I'm frustrated. Like, Although we were growing, people I thought would join me right away weren't joining me. And people I thought would totally benefit from the, from the product weren't thriving with me. And I'm like, I, I just don't understand. Like, why wouldn't you want to do this? And, and uh, these words have stuck with me. She said, Sheila, you are planting seeds. You just keep planting seeds and it will grow. So what did I do? I increased production because to me, <laughs> If I want better results, I need to figure out where my point is. How many no's do I get to get a yes, right? So I was, it was massive action. We were just, I wasn't sleeping a ton, but I was getting, I was well rested and happy the next day, so it really didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> By, um, in January, we went from 36,000 to 176,000 in sales. And in February, when Elise joined, uh, we went to 290, and then in March we were at 390,000 in sales. Now, obviously this happens because I had a lot of great people that joined me and loved the Thrive Experience and chose to share. My point is, I'm going to give you a little example first before I go through that. My daughter, this goes back to Maria telling me about the planting seeds thing, right? So my daughter comes home from school, this is a week and a half ago before the weekend, and she is to um, plant, she gets 26 marigold seeds and dirt in these little containers. And her teacher, for whatever reason, she was led to believe that these should grow, like by Monday. So, so my overachiever is having a heart attack all weekend because why is this not growing, right? Like, so she is, now she planted it as soon as she got home from school. She is watering it. She is supposed to keep it in a container. She was stressed because we have cabinets above our refrigerator and he said to put it on top of the refrigerator so it gets light. So I said, put it on the counter, there's lights under there, you know, and um, it wasn't sprouting. And so, but she was caring for it every single day. I said, move it into the porch. There's more light out there. So she moves into the porch. On Monday when she's going to school, she has two little sprouts. 
and she's like thinking she should have marigolds, you know? <laughs> and so she's like, oh my gosh, you know, she's straight as doing, I'm gonna fail, like I'm gonna fail. What if I feel like, oh, he can't, ex you know, I said, you've done everything you can to grow these marigolds. You have too, I'm sure you'll be just fine. Well, she gets to class to find out by the time her class was, there were six sprouts. Out of 26 that she planted, and she had the most in the class that had grown. So there are several points I want to make there. One, comparing herself to like what other kids could do would have been would have been awful or awful for the other kids because she had six sprouts by the end of it. But like her pace was, okay, I, she planted when she got home, she took care of it, and then got good results at the end. Now, other kids, you know half of them planted it the morning before school, and other half planted on Sunday night when they went, crap, I forgot to do that, and they opened their school bag. So, what, what, how are you planting your seeds? Are you planting it? Are you watering it? Are you following up? Are you doing everything you can to make your marigold grow? I mean, are you making a successful business because you're doing the do every single day to get the results you want? You know, that's really what it boils down to. And if you care for it, it will grow. I mean, I there's no way if you're, you know, you're reaching out to uh, 10 people a day because you're not seeing the results you want, so you increase production, right? 10 people a day that you can't figure out where your yes comes in. Or you talk to your upline because what you're sending isn't working. You know, it can be a number of things, but you definitely increasing production. Now, we had a fast growth, but we, nothing has changed from what we did when I started almost five years ago. We followed our information funnel. We referred people to the fan page. I think there was uh, 70, well, on one of my posts, it was 7,600 likes on the fan page. Uh, now, what is it, Elise? Like, over a million, it's a lot. Um, we still invite people to like the fan page. We still uh, have people watch the video or listen to the 24-hour recorded call. We still, signing people up for free, like the most crucial thing you can do for your business. Why? It's your database. That's how you're working your business. You're working off that list. If you sign them up for free and you never reach out to them again, you're only doing yourself a disservice, you know? Because my goal when I started was, I don't want to see DFTs in my town that aren't from me. Uh, now, I don't know everybody in my town of 17,000 people, but I was determined that if I knew them, they were gonna hear about the product from me, not from someone else or see it on Facebook or they see my Facebook and then they go check it out and end up signing up with who knows who. I want them to sign up with me and that means getting that free account signed up. Then the most important piece of it was what? I had to get them on the phone with Maria getting someone on for validation, which that validation call has nothing to do with us as promoters, right? That has everything to do with the person you're putting on the phone with your upline leader. They get the validation from that call. You aren't putting them on an intimidating, terrible call. They're hearing a story. They need to hear the stories because, well, for me, I had headaches. Not everybody has headaches. I got that a lot. I don't have headaches. And they blow me off. Well, <laughs> Once they got on the phone with Mari and heard a, you know, a mom of four that you know, got her energy back and her mama mojo, it was relatable to some people. So do not miss any piece of that puzzle. I was talking today at the pool with, with some people. Um, think of it as those four steps as like a puzzle, right? So you put uh, a puzzle together, and this might show my age, but we used to frame puzzles. I don't know. But if you're missing a piece, you can't frame it. So your puzzle is not frameable if you're missing a piece of the puzzle. So don't miss a piece. Some of the hardest things to do, like a three-way call, I'll be honest, I didn't want to do it. I didn't. Uh, I had been on a negative call uh, with a different company, and I was like, I don't want to do that to my friend. She's like, trust me. And if she said jump, I said how high. So I, I did trust her, and it, it's crucial. 
Still, to this day, I put people on a three-way call with Maria or with someone else. I, I, it's a crucial piece of your business because could I help them get started driving without putting them on the phone? Absolutely. But would they be able to do it? Would they duplicate a three-way call if I'm not doing it? Absolutely not. And really, it's validation. I don't even like to call it a three-way call. It's really a validation call. You're really just letting someone else hear another story. So I want to paint a vision for you. Like, you have, you have two different types of people, right? You have the ones that wish they would, wish they could, wish they did, and you have those that do it. So it's, it's not my choice if someone's successful in the thriving screen. All I can do is provide as much as I can for them, right? It's up, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. It's up to everyone in this room to reach out to their friends, to help people thrive for free, to you know, build your business, work your business every single day. The most crucial part to me is having that heart-to-heart -heart in the mirror. If your business isn't where you wanna be, are you having that heart-to-heart -heart going, what piece of the puzzle am I missing? Is it numbers? Is it not doing three-way calls? Is it not having people check out the fan page? Is it not sharing? Is it not private? privately sharing with people? Because we know your Facebook story is great. However, if you're not private messaging or calling people, you just don't get results. Um, they need that personalization. I have one more story for you to, to go along with this. I was invited to a, um, a party. It was a, it was a new jewelry that was helping promote um, some, you know, people that were from Haiti and that making the jewelry. So I never even saw the event on Facebook, I'll be honest, I never saw it. But my, an acquaintance, someone that I've known for years, um, our kids used to dance together. Anyways, she messaged me privately and said, hey Sheila, I haven't seen you in forever. And she's like, I would really love for you to come over on Wednesday night and check out what me and my daughters are doing. Guess what? I went. Like, her message was right. I hadn't seen her in forever. It wasn't insincere. She wanted me to see what her and her daughters were doing together. My point is, your messages to people need to be sincere. You, you heard the stories up here. Like, the stories don't lie. Like, these are real life stories. So you need to believe in your story more than the doubt someone's going to have when you tell them. I always just tell Maria, you know what, I met, I met my next driver today, they just don't know it yet. Because they don't, they don't necessarily listen or I didn't necessarily tell them immediately what's going on or maybe I just gave them a little bit. It's all about the follow up. It's all about planting those seeds and growing it and keeping yourself plugged in. You know, take that look in the mirror. What is missing? Because I'm telling you, we went from the paycheck to paycheck, trying to pay off debt, to a completely different lifestyle. My husband's home, working the business with me, has been, it'll be, I don't know, it was three years in May. Um, that's what we do full time. My kids have the best life. They have both parents at home, whether that's good or bad, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> but they do, they get to have both parents present in their life every single day. And I just got a text from my daughter that mom needs to come home. No. <laughs> Dad doesn't understand girl talk. That's what she told me. Um, <laughs> she's 50. Um, but if I can do this and I made the time to do it, so can anybody else in this room. It's about numbers. It's about massive action. It's about putting your heart and soul into this as a business. And it's deciding... Is this a job? Because to me, this has never felt like a job. Or are you building a business, right? You're sharing the Thrive experience with people. And it's what mindset do you have, you know? And, and that's really what makes the difference between people being successful and not successful is how you're treating it and the time you're putting it. And it doesn't matter if, you're, if it's a job or you're an entrepreneur, the most successful puts the time in. So guys, I'm not stopping, like this is just the beginning. And this company is so amazing that 
we just got more and more to look forward to and more and more lives to change along the way. So if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for having me.